Alright guys, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today's going to be a shorter video. I'm going to explain, or I'm just going to give you a little bit of a herd management guide on Rev on to the Coast for Whitetail. And kind of tell you how, how, how it's going for me and everything else. So, unlike other maps like Layton Lakes, Rev on Tule, you can find Whitetail everywhere. Literally all of these zones up here. Every single body of water up here. And if you, imagine there's an ma imaginary line right here that goes down like this across here goes right here goes at the bottom of this right here and goes straight up like this and even these can have um, whitetail on them now down here when you get down to the ocean there are no whitetail so don't bother if you're wanting to set up a herd management a herd management uh, grind on Revlon Thule I wouldn't worry about these zones down here at all and so kind of how I started off is and this is how I like to start off every herd management grind is I start in the middle of the map wherever it spawns me, especially if I haven't like discovered any of the map yet. And I go and I find my, or I set the time to whitetail time. And the whitetail time to drink is 8 to 12. I usually try to set it at 9 because 9 times out of 10, the, the males, or not the males, but just the, the herds in general are going to be late to their zones. So what I do is I like to find my first zone, see if they have any shootable bucks in it. Any, anything above level 1, you're going to want to shoot down to a level 1. And you're going, to repeat, you're going to want to repeat that process over and over again until you have about 10 um, to 12 zones that you ro like rotate on regular, regularly. And so what I did was I would start here. I'd set up a tent here and a tent here. And, you know, lucky enough is I had another zone here. So I would set up a tent here with two tripod stands on each side. And a tent here and a tent here. And I would shoot these two down. Or once I had it set up and I know that if I spawn here that both of these herds are going to be rendered in. Then I would move on and I'd find more zones. Then I'd move to this one, this one, which I'm still hunting this one right here because I just recently discovered it. And that's just kind of what's going to happen. You're not going to find all your zones, um, you know, a few hundred kills in. It's going to take thousands and thousands of kills to get in to get all your zones found because there's just so many of them. I think there's, I've seen as low as 65 and as high as 75 zones on a map, even, maybe even more. And so what you're, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up on every zone that you find over and over again. So you're gonna set out all your tents. Um, I would recommend if you have the money to buy, go ahead and buy 16 tents because you're, you're just gonna be able to herd manage your map a, a lot faster. And you're just gonna go around, you're gonna find all your zones and you're gonna start hunting them down. And then while you're hunting them down, pay attention to how um, consistent the zones are. And so one of my favorite zones is this one right here. And I noticed, this is, I actually discovered, this is one of my first zones I discovered. And I noticed how consistent it was and so what I actually did was I shot it up, and so I left big level twos and, a, and level threes if I would get them in this zone, and then I would move on. And then once I got you know the rest of my map herd managed, I would actually make this one of my one of my main grinding zones. So if you have a zone that's really really consistent and always gets their animals back um, every run that you make, keep that zone because there's a lot of zones that are going to be inconsistent that you you don't want to get stuck with at the end of your grind. And so yeah, you're going to keep doing that over and over again. Some of the hot spots you can check out, like this is a really good hot spot for like 90% of people. For me, it was a hot spot. Um, I accidentally shot both of these zones right here to solo, solo does, unfortunately. Um, and this one right here has all level ones and I, it got shot down really fast so I didn't want to keep it in my grind. It was a really consistent zone. So I recommend um, checking this one out. This one right here. Uh, another, another hot spot would be this lake. See if I can see all my zones. Obviously, the first one I was showing you, actually, just this cluster of lakes right here. You're gonna want to, you're gonna want to keep some of your main grindable zones on this one, especially if they're consistent, just because they're so clumped together. Fast, uh, fast traveling. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's gonna be a lot faster to bounce back and forth between these zones than it is for you to be here and then fast travel all the way to here. And so it just makes your your runs consistent and. Um, very fast where you can get really high kill counts in a short amount of time leading to you know a great one faster and and so on and so forth uh, let's see what's another another hot spot this is a really good lake right here that I've seen most people have three to four zones on this one uh, I don't I think I got lucky with this one I usually only see two here this is a really good zone up here this lake is a good zone as well 
Now, but this lake is extremely annoying to hunt on, so I would recommend shooting this one down. Even if it's a consistent zone, I it, you're gonna be shooting 300 plus meters away most of the time, and it can if you make a bad shot, it just you know makes your grinds last a little bit longer. These two are actually really unexpected. I didn't expect these to have really any deer on it, but I have one, and I used to have five zones here. Two of them were solo, so they ended up moving off, and the zones ended up deleting. But this lake surprisingly is gonna have. For me anyway, I don't know about for you, but I would highly recommend not ignoring this map if you want to do HM. Now, if you won't, don't want to do HM, and so if you just want to find consistent zones and don't worry about shooting the rest down, that's fine. The only thing a herd management is going to do is going to make you um, have more of a chance to get a super rare because your diamond spawns are much, like, really elevated. So, you, for example, right now, I'm getting a diamond about every 30... To 35 kills it's not the greatest herd management but there's so many zones that i'm still finding some and still shooting some things down um, about a thousand one hundred and nineteen kills into my second grind and i have 38 diamonds and so if you it just you get better chances of super rares you get better chances at you know huge huge diamonds that look really really good in your lodge and so if you want trophies like that i recommend herd management but if you don't really care about that and you just want the great one which i don't blame you at all what I would do is I would look at these hotspots that I talked about, see if they're consistent zones, set up on those zones, and then find, you know, the remaining zones that you need a, that you have tents for, and just hunt those zones over and over and over again until you get the great one. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for the um, herd management grind. I'm actually have I actually have a huge diamond right here in front of me on one of my main zones. So we're gonna go ahead and take him out for the video. 255 to 296, absolute freaking giant let's go ahead and get him on the ground it's female saying in front of him though uh oh where is my gun here oh it's in four well okay hopefully he's in a position in which i can shoot him in okay once he turns around we'll take the shot on him if this level one isn't in the way oh and don't shoot the females whitetail are really really bad about leaving their zones if you shoot them and going and making a brand new herd with some of the solo deer that are on your map or even some of the bucks that are in that are in your herds that you're hunting so say you have a really consistent zone but you actually shoot a female in another zone so if i get this guy down say you actually i'm out of mess that guy up oh, no i didn't say you have another fem or you have a really consistent zone and you actually shoot a female out of your other zone S sometimes those bucks you just shot out of that consistent zone will move and combine with that female and create a new herd. So at all costs, avoid shooting females. And if you accidentally do shoot a female, what you can do is you can main menu before she dies and it will cancel the shot you took on her. Um, a lot of content creators and a lot of like pro grinders, I guess you can say, use that technique um, to kind of keep their herds from messing up. All right, let's look at this guy. What a monster. This is just a result of herd management it's kind of it's really awesome to see like these kind of trophies show up on your map 272 that's a monster now i'm to the point where i have multiple 274s and a 75 275 so i'm not going to tax anything that's um below 2 274 yeah below 274 i'm not going to tax because i just i actually have a whole lodge right now full of whitetail we can check out we can check that out right now actually We're kind of reaching that point of the video. If, if if you like the content, if you like these guides, if you like to know how these content creators get all these trophies that um, that you see them get and you want to get them as well, they do something called herd management, like I've explained. Let's get into investigation mode. Are we already in it? So yeah, these are all, every single one of these are diamonds with some, I always tax rares because they're rares, why not? You know what I mean? 271, 271. 260 you know all these rares I actually have some rares I'm gonna put up right now while we're here and so yeah if you enjoy this kind of type of content if you enjoy knowing how to get these trophies go if you don't mind go ahead and leave it a like and subscribing to the channel I will be coming out with more herd management uh, guides for like moose probably red deer um, and probably um, 
bears at some point. I'm real. Why is there a fallow deer in here? And yeah, there's one of my pie balls that I got. Is there another pie ball in here? Oh, I have three pie balls. Oh, that's a fallow deer. Cool. Two seventy one. Oh, this guy was wonky. That's why I attacked this guy. Hold on, let's look at him over here. Look how, like, upward pointing his antlers are. I like that. I, I don't know. I attacked the wonky ones. So why not? White tail deer, another diamond. Uh, how many do. What is this? Tan? Why do I have that one tagged? Oh, yeah, because that one was weird, too. Anyway. Yeah, this is going to be pretty much it for this video. Actually, you know what? Let's actually go look at this guy real quick. Let's go look at my... We'll end on my super rare that I ended up getting on this grind as well. And super rares are more rare than a great one. So that's why I like doing herd management. Because it allows me to get these trophies that are insanely rare. Um, that are insanely rare. Is he up here? Yeah. We in? Okay, right here. This piebald right here. The two... No. 256.1. This guy was so close to um, making diamond. It was so unfortunate when he didn't. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you don't mind liking and subscribing, if you enjoy this type of content, I know I'm asking a lot. I'm trying to grow my channel. Um, anyway, love you guys. And I'll catch you on the next one.